Potential residential developments on 14 sites in downtown Lafayette are outlined in a plan developed for the city by a consultant. Eric Lucas of MKSK says his firm worked with local realtors, brokers and developers inside and outside the community to understand the needs of young entrepreneurs and older generations that are downsizing. Primarily, the sites studied are currently parking lots that could be developed into residential buildings of different heights to blend in with existing downtown structures. In that area that has taller buildings, we've proposed potentially some more tall buildings down, down in that sort of western part of the downtown. And as you go to the north and to the south and to the east, we've shown the buildings to kind of decrease in height to be more in concert with what's happening around. Lucas presented a preliminary draft of the study to the Lafayette Redevelopment Commission. One potential project calls for lower density housing on the parking lot next to the Frontier Communications building on Main Street and higher density housing on the lot behind the Frontier building facing Columbia Street. Lucas says 98 percent of the available housing is occupied in downtown Lafayette, meaning there's plenty of demand. But to ensure future projects are targeted to match that demand, the Redevelopment Commission joined the City of West Lafayette, Tippecanoe County and local builders and realtors in hiring consultant Green Street Limited to develop data. Senior associate Mark O'Neill says his firm will evaluate housing and demographic trends, including household size and income. We'll also uh, look at housing affordability and try to understand um, the kind of housing options folks have currently, but also the kinds of families and workers um, that Tippecanoe County is trying to attract. Mayor Tony Rozworski says the goal is to determine what type of residential housing is needed in downtown Lafayette so the city can recruit developers who will build those kinds of projects. As the mayor mentioned, they're wanting to be uh, really thoughtful about the kinds of uh, housing they approve. Certainly with downtown, those, you know, there's only so many sites that you can build on downtown. Also, O'Neill says the study will compare the cost of providing government services to those new residential buildings compared to the income and property tax revenue they will generate. The Green Street study is scheduled for completion in the spring. Chris Morisi Vitsa, Star City News.